So I know there's times where you wake up and you're just in a bad mood and now everything goes down a negative spiral throughout the day. Now there's a lot of things that you can do to prevent that from happening and I'm going to talk about the things that you can do, very easy, very simple little things that you could add into your day. You don't have to do all of them, but you can do some of them that will help you get out of that depressive episode or that depressive state of mind and it has to happen first thing in the morning. If you guys are the first time uh, to the podcast, this is the Jersey to Vegas podcast episode number 93. Uh, my name is is Pete. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a therapist, but I'm someone who has experienced all these mental health issues that I'm sure you are going through, which is how you ended up here on this channel. So thank you for that. Everybody are new to this or whether you have experienced some uh, depressive episodes or some depression or some anxiety. I really do a lot of this stuff to make sure that my mind is in its best, um, that my mind is in its best shape for it to carry on throughout the day. Okay, now there's five different things that I do. My last one is my favorite, so hang on out. Make sure you don't, guys don't, don't miss it, right? The last one's my favorite. But the first one is probably one that most people are not going to do, right? But if you, if you are brave enough, if not can stand the cold, cold baths, cold showers, first thing in the morning. Why do I do it? First off, I like it, right? That's why I think it's very beneficial, to me. I really enjoy it. But number two, it's doing something hard in the morning. I do not want to do it, right? I like it, but my body still fights it. So when I turn on the shower, I jump right in. I don't turn on the shower and then wait, right? Because the the stalling and the hesitating and the procrastinating, that's what's going to happen throughout the day, right? There's going to be a project or somewhere you have to go and you're going to sit and you're going to wait and procrastinate and do other things, Right, do other things versus doing the job that's needed to be done. Right, this word develops discipline, discipline to act, discipline to complete, discipline to do something very scary, and at the same time, it's very beneficial for you. Not only does it help uh, lose fat and all the other health benefits behind it, there's tons. I'm not going to talk about it. If you want me to talk about it, comment down below. Let me know you want me to expand a little bit more about cold baths, cold plunges. Very popular now, where a lot more people are doing it. But I suggest that if you can, give it a shot. You don't need a perfect bath and a tub and ice. You need cold water. Right? If, especially if you've never done it before. Just taking the cold shower resets the system. Now, this is also something I do for when I get angry. So when I use tip, right, temperature, uh, increased, uh, increased heart rate, I think, uh, pace breathing, increase exercise, increase something, whatever. I would use that um, method in order to kind of change my temperature. So if I'm hot, I get cold really fast and it really helps me out. So that's the first thing I think you guys can try is taking a cold shower first thing in the morning. The second thing I do is I drink water. Lukewarm, warm, regular? No, I drink ice cold water. Some people may agree, some people may not agree. I enjoy it, right? I like going to the fridge, getting my glass out. First off, I'll take the glass that's on my counter in my room because I always have a, a cup of water, a glass of water. I'll finish whatever's in there first, and then I'll go downstairs, and I will drink water. Now, this helps me become healthy in the morning, right? This helps, obviously, you're dehydrated, right? A lot of the things that we go through, we are not hydrated throughout the day. This just guarantees that I get a glass of water to start the day. Not only does it help your metabolism, like fire up, start up, and get you started in the right process, but it also gives you a healthy habit first thing in the morning. Right, you didn't wake up and just go straight to coffee. Right, you didn't wake up and then go straight to soda or juice or nothing. Right, you did something very healthy for yourself, giving your body something it's really completely made of. Right, your body's made of water, like tons of it. So your body does need it. So why not start the day with a little bit or a lot of bit of water? It really just starts the the process of um, doing good things for myself, right? It, it, this is part of it, right? Cold shower, drinking some cold water. Now, if I don't get to shower that day, right, because maybe I don't want to make too much noise in the room, I take the ice cold water and I pour it on top of my head, right? So I'll go in the sink, not like and make a mess everywhere, but I'll put my head into the sink. I'll pour the water into my head and make sure it hits my ears, really get those nerves, 
and that also can substitute the the cold water. I forgot about that, right? Uh, the cold shower. I forgot. Sometimes you don't take a shower. Sometimes just pour it over your head. Get your body going. And it does have some benefit to doing so because it's not, it doesn't feel good, right? And for some people, it's not fun. But at least um, if I do that and I don't take the shower, I can pour the water in my head. Then once I'm done, I could drink another glass of water to make myself better. What else do I do? Drink coffee. That's next. I didn't say I'm not going to drink coffee, right? I did not drink coffee first. I drank the water first. Now I have a nice, hot, warm cup of joe uh, a cup of coffee black maybe with um what do they call that stuff splenda or the other thing was the green one spurtina sugarfina no or the green packet i'm not sure of the name of it but i take that and i sip it i uh, kind of get my heart going it feels nice it's comforting right and it does wake me up a little bit so i take or i drink a glass about 8 ounces and then i'm done and now i can go for my walk and now i can move into the next thing which is kind of my favorite one right so this is a little bit of a combo now this will send me into my next one and my next one's kind of like a combo so you can say there's you know more than 5 steps or 6 steps but i put these two together because it kind of matches and it does make sense so i'm going to go for my walk and when i go for my walk i take my dogs which means I'm letting them go to the bathroom. But at the same time, I put on something positive on my uh, headphones or my AirPods, right? So I'll go to YouTube. I have a playlist of things that I like to listen to in the morning. And I listen to a lot of positive, um, inspirational, any type of, um, even a podcast that is more about really being positive, really being productive, different things that I I can say to myself, like affirmations or even meditation music, and just put that on. Nothing that's going to stimulate negativity, right? Nothing that's going to stimulate something where it makes me angry, like I'm going to talk about in the next one, right? And my next tip, my most important tip is the last one. But this one is where I put the positive stuff in my ear. I go for the walk. I take them wherever they need to go. And I try to get out there for about the 20, 15, depends on the weather, right? 15 to 30 minutes on the walk. Keep going, keep moving, get them some exercise, get my heart rate going. And at least I'm doing something productive. And at the same time, I'm moving my heart and I'm also stimulating my brain with things that are positive. And for my last one, The last one I do my best, I do my best to do. This is the last tip and probably the most important tip to help you guys. It's completely opposite, kind of, not really opposite of the the fourth one, but I do not go into my phone and I do not check my text messages, my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, nothing. I don't answer any messages. I don't go into that until my morning is over and it's very important to do so because like i talked about number four it can trigger a lot of emotions you can get fomo right that's the worst one you can get anger by triggered by something you see or someone you see you get jealousy envy anything else those are really i don't want to say negative um emotions right? Because there's no really bad emotions, but it's not an emotion that's going to help you carry on throughout your day. You may end up getting more anxiety from it. You may end up getting more depressed from it. So staying off your phone and staying away from that stimulation at the same time, not really slamming into your dopamine yet, it really is important for you to stay off your phone. If there's one thing I can say to do out of all these things is do that. Don't wake up and check your phone. Like I I wake up, right? If I'm not home, I'm going to check my text messages to make sure my family's okay. That's easy, right? Emergency is emergency. But your hands and your fingers have a very quick tendency to go back into its pattern. Watch. I dare you to move your apps around and or delete some of your apps and see what happens through the next two days. When you're going through just checking like your your messages or just checking the time or checking the weather, you're going to scroll back to where Instagram was. You're going to scroll back to where TikTok was because you're so like uh, the pattern is there, right? You're so trained to go to those social media apps. And then when they're gone, your hands don't know what to do and you'll actually catch yourself doing it. It's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. 
But the main thing, again, the takeaway on this one is don't tune in to your apps. Stay off them for now. Like, make sure that you're doing something else. Do things that are productive. Drink some water. Do some exercise. Go for the walk. Listen to something positive. If that's the one app you could open up, have it ready. Like I said, I have a playlist. I know where I'm going to go. I'm not going to go to it and have to search for something and scroll and scroll and scroll because that's going to be counterproductive to what I want. I know where I'm going. I'm going to set it. I'm going to press play. And that's it. I'm sure there's another simpler way to do it, but that's the way I do it right now. And then once I'm done with that, I just kind of move on into my day and I feel a lot better. Is it perfect? No. There's going to be days where it's just hard to get out of it. Right? There's going to be days that are going to be a struggle. There's going to be days it feels like there's tar on your feet. There's going to be days where your blanket feels like a dead body. Because you don't want to get up and you don't want to do those things. And that's why I like doing the cold shower first because it gives me the discipline to get up and do something hard. Do something very very much that I don't want to do on some days. And it helps set the pattern. It helps set my pattern for for success, right? For positive days. And I don't like saying positive all the time because there's days that you are going to feel negative. But at least I did the job to try. It's not a guarantee, right? None of this is a guarantee it's going to work. But I would rather have a 90% chance of feeling better than a 90% chance of not. I'm a gambling man. I move to a gambling city. I don't gamble there, but I'll gamble on a lot of other things. Man, right now, like, my fucking body feels weird. <laughs> it could feel so weird. I'm going to give you guys an extra one, right? Here's an extra one for you, but let's go through the, the other ones first. So number one was cold shower, just in case you went to the bathroom, had a snack, and now back to it. First thing you do is take a cold shower immediately in the morning. You can stay there for a minute to three minutes. You don't have to be in there for 20. You don't even have to soap yourself. Just get in there, take the shower, do the thing that's really hard to do, do something disciplinary in your life, and then move on. Second one, drink water. Have a glass of water, hydrate yourself, do a healthy habit for yourself for that day. Number three, enjoy something. Enjoy your coffee. Enjoy your tea. Enjoy your comfort. If that's a smoothie, then that's a smoothie for you. I'm not sure what it is, right? I'm not sure what makes you feel good, but you deserve it. And I feel like coffee, I deserve it. I kind of like it. I never used to like it, but I like it black with a little bit of Splenda, maybe some sugar on some days, but hey, it depends on the day. Number four. Go for a walk. If you have a dog, perfect. Take the dog out for a walk. 15 to 30 minutes. Just get outside. Let them do their stuff. Pee pee, poo poo, kaka kiki. And then at the same time, you're moving while listening to something positive. Right? Plug the headphones in. Go in. Or maybe talk to yourself in that time. Right? Or even talk to yourself in that time. Number five. The most important. Stay away from social Stay away from your phone. Don't answer any emails. Don't answer any texts. Don't, don't scroll anywhere else. Stay away from it until you're done with yourself. Give yourself this time. And I did say exercise before. So if exercise is, is one, we can add that to it because I, I enjoy that too now. Right? There's some days I don't want to trust me. But there's days that exercise in the morning helps me feel way better. Way better throughout the day. By adding a little bit of strength training, a little bit of cardio, riding a bike, a little bit more than just a walk, right? And you can add that to the list too. You kind of combine that in number four, go for a walk or workout, you know, whatever it is. Do something physical for your body. That's a little bit challenging, but at the same time, something that's good for your heart. Number five, stay off of social. That's pretty easy. Don't scroll on the phone, right? Positive things only. Think about yourself. And then the bonus one I'm adding into this one is something I started doing that I haven't done in a long time. Something I've stayed away from for many, many, I don't want to say years, but the only time I do use this technique is when I need it. And I feel like we all fall into that plane. Well, not all. Obviously, you're going to listen and hear this one. Maybe you do it all the time. But for me, I just started doing it again within the past month. And I pray. That's it. 
Guys, I'm not telling you to a religious thing here. I'm not telling you to pray to Jesus. I'm not telling you to pray to... I don't fucking know anyone else, honestly. Whatever. I don't know religions. I'm just Catholic. Praying to something. Because I know there's more than just me. Whether it's another God. I know at, at times I am my own God. Right? I am God. Apparently. Right? It's, it's your life, so you are your own God. But there also has to be something else. Because why is it when we're on our, Here's the reason why I say this. Why is it when we're on an airplane and we hit turbulence, all of a sudden people are like this. Fucking sign of the cross. Right? That's... <laughs> Dane Cook. Mm -mm. everyone's making the sign of the cross everyone's closing their eyes everyone's praying because of turbulence your plane dropped down 7,000 feet fast you think you're going down of course you're going to pray for your life now so why is not at times I've learned that why can't I pray now not saying I'm sitting there no no I'm saying things it's more of like a gratitude talk like, I'm talking and being grateful. So I already write it down in my journal, right? And I have a gratitude journal and say, thank you for this, thank you for that. Why can't I say it out loud? Why am I afraid to or embarrassed to say thank you for my wife? Thank you for my kids. Thank you for my legs. Thank you for my family. And then also asking for help. Please help me out of my mind. Please help my brain heal itself. Please help my emotions understand that you're going to get through this all. I'm asking for help because I know I'm not invincible and everyone needs help. And I believe it's that vulnerability to be able to ask for something, for some assistance in life. When you feel like you've never had assistance in life, can help. Like I said, it might not work. Some percentage at a time. Right? But 90%, I'm most likely going to feel good. So why not add a little bit of spirituality? Right? Something that I think I've been missing for a long time. Based off, it doesn't work. Based off other people's opinions. Based off me. But I do feel like I've always been there. I don't go to church. Right? I'm not going to take the communion. I'm not going to sit there and listen to some guy tell me something that I really don't want to listen to. But I can talk. Right? I can believe. I can ask for help. And I feel like that's the last thing that I've done that's been working for me lately. All the other ones have helped me, but it's helped me maybe 80% of the time. I added this about a month ago, and now I feel a little bit more better. I don't want to say so much better. Now, oh, fuck that, man. I feel better. Like, why do I always downplay myself? No, I feel better. And added that just helped me feel a little bit better more. Does that make sense? Fucking better. So I'm not sure if you want to or onto it or, or do it now. If you do, tell me. Comment down below. Let me know. A lot of people that comment on these medical, uh, medical, mental health stuff, they're like, I found Jesus and Jesus this and Jesus that. Cool. Good for you. I prayed and prayed made me X, Y, Z. Perfect. Me too. Right, but I'm not going to spend three hours on a Sunday at a fucking place. It's not going to happen. Nor am I going to bring my kids there. Do we pray? Yeah. Do I make them say something that they're grateful for? Yeah. You want to hear? You want to hear our prayers at night? Here's my prayer for me and my kids. If my mom heard this, she would make me add the word Jesus, Mary, uh, an Our Father, a Glory Be, um, and then uh, Apollo's Creed. <laughs> is that even a thing? Apollo's Creed or Apollo Creed is the the boxer, right? <laughs> Apostles Creed? I don't know what it's called. I was an altar boy too. That's fucked up. And here it goes. We go. My brother told me this prayer, I think when he was in nursery school. And he used to say it when he was younger. And it stuck with me forever. Forever. Because it was so simple. And I would say it every single night. Every single night, I would say it. And every once in a while, if I did pray and I, I was thankful for something, I would say it. But now I taught my kids it. Right? And it goes, thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. 
thank you, Lord, for everything, or thank you, God, for everything, whatever you want to insert there. We say that together when we go to bed, after we read, because I believe that they should learn how to be grateful or thank something or someone for the things that they have. Because I, I do believe that's something that gets overlooked, right? Especially now in these days and ages, or, or just maybe me and my family. Because Nat's not very religious, but I told her the prayer and she was like, oh, it's really good. That sounds cool. Yeah, it does. Because it's very simple and it does teach them a value. So for me, I took care of my mental health, right? I'm taking care of my physical health. I'm doing both. And now I'm taking care of my spiritual health. Again, I'm not telling you I'm religious. I did see this the building of Scientology, though, in L.A., which I'm going to talk about in the next podcast. We went to California, and we're going to talk about that um, because it was pretty fun. At the same time, it was cool. You know, it was cool to do something different. Well, on that note... Go to patreon.com slash jersey to Vegas. Donate, support, do it is what is you can. Do it is what you is can. It's $5. Give it $5. You want to put $5 down, help the channel? Come on. It's $5. You know what else you do with $5? Wipe your ass with it. So why not give me some of that wiped ass $5 bill? Hmm? Send it over. Uh, jersey to Vegas. So it's a uh, Patreon.com slash Jersey of Vegas. If you can, review the channel. Send a little bit of review on the podcast. Like, subscribe, do whatever it is you like. And I'll check you guys later. Thank you guys for coming out to episode number 93. I think it's 93, maybe 94. We'll find out when I find out. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, Cub Scouts.